Salutations, spooks, spirits, and specters, and welcome back to more Senran Kagura Burst Renewal. Kimetawa. Chapter 3 continues. Summer Memories. Good job on the Hanzo Academy mission. The results were unfortunate, but I'm giving you the day off regardless. I have other matters to sort out. <laughs> Mistress Haruka gives a fearless smile. To her, victory is a foregone conclusion. Not yet, though. I'm not beaten just yet. Mirai. Humura gives me an uneasy look. It's all right. I'll protect her. I have to protect her. So, Mirai, do you do? At this point, I'm down to my instincts. Right. Gotta do this. I take a deep breath. Goi. Goi. I extend my right hand. <gasps> I was hoping I'd get the card with the kimono-wearing man holding the umbrella. But instead, I got the one with the strip of red paper with... Okayoroshi, Akayoroshi, written in Japanese. My instincts have failed me. Mistress Haruka shows off her ha Hanafuda hand. She smiles in triumphant satisfaction. <laughs> Mistress Haruka looks at Hamura lasciviously. No way. If Homura has to take the punishment, she's in for a world of hurt. Boob slap? Is that what I think it is? As I sit there dumbfounded, Mistress Haruka stretches out both hands. Mistress Haruka swings both hands inward, delivering a pair of mighty swats to Hamura's breasts. <laughs> the air around her practically vibrates from the bounce. It's an attack designed more to humiliate than harm. <laughs> She repeats the performance, now aimed at me. Her boob slap passes by my chest without making contact. This is going to be far for a simple punishment game. A universe of fury is born in my head. I glare at the Akayoroshi card in my hand. Unforgivable. If it weren't for this stupid card, I stuff the card into my mouth. I stuff one card after another into my mouth. 
負け続きだからって花札を食べるなんて卑怯よ Mistress Haruka makes a grab for me. Nope. I swallow them before she can reach me. Sis's rebuke flies out at us. I look to see the other passengers are all staring. We quiet down, and the sound of the train again reverberates through the passenger car. The constant, steady rhythm feels nice. This is what it feels like to travel. As we exit the tunnel, the scent of salt water drifts in. I peer out the window. Without even a thought for modesty, Mistress Haruka starts taking off her clothes. Hamura jumps up and tries to stop her. No cause for alarm, huh? When I'm with Mistress Haruka, I feel like her crazy rubs off on me. Hikage follows suit. Sis's reprimand booms like a thunderclap. The whole car goes silent, and all eyes turn to her. She shrinks down in embarrassment, like a turtle pulling back into its shell. Why are we even going to the beach? It's not because of a mission. It's because we got a full day off from school. It all started yesterday. Master Suzune suddenly walked into the ninja room and gave us a strange announcement. We stared at her in confusion. Master Suzune didn't hesitate at all in responding. Though we didn't quite steal the super secret ninja art scroll, we did acquire a valuable piece of information. Was it some kind of trap from Hanzo? Or could that be a function of the scroll itself? We don't know what it all means yet, but it'll play a role in future planning for sure. So they rewarded us with this day trip to the beach. A reward for our first successful mission, but my thoughts are still jumbled. No one else has said anything, but I doubt I'm the only one who feels this way. Mistress Haruka's acting really cheerful, but I think she's hiding how upset she is at losing her team. We knew our missions would be merciless, but having to fight our own. If our failure led to valuable info, I'm sure they'll use that to help us next time we go for the scroll. Also, only the lower-ranked shinobi lost their minds, 
What if it had happened to the elite class? I tried to talk to Hamura about it earlier, but all she said was... She didn't seem bothered at all. That doesn't ease my worries, though. Maybe that's because I... I could almost feel myself going berserk, too. I'm weaker than the other elites, physically and mentally. That's probably why the scroll affected me more. I held it off this time, but if it happens again... If I lose control, I could wind up attacking my friends. No. I don't want to. I don't want to fight them. After changing into my swimsuit, I walk out of the dressing room, squinting at the sun. Above is an empty expanse of blue sky. The ocean spreads out before us. I've never been able to tan at the beach, but I've always liked it anyway. I feel a tap on my shoulder and turn around to see Mistress Haruka smiling at me. She's probably right. Dwelling on what happened certainly isn't going to do me any good. I decide to change my attitude and try to have fun. Mistress Haruka doffs her t-shirt. She reveals a pink bikini that barely covers her at all. I'm wearing a comparatively modest regulation school swimsuit. It's the only one I own. Seeing how shy and fidgety I am, Mistress Haruka flashes me a delighted grin. Her eyes crawl over every inch of me. Hamura's covered up in a towel. Without a moment's delay, Mistress Haruka snatches away Hamura's towel. A scantily black bikini barely covers her large chest. Sis steps out of the dressing room, showing off a two-piece swimsuit accented with a cute frilly skirt. Sis ignores the predatory look on Haruka's face and strolls down to the beach. Finally, Hikage makes her grand entrance. Mistress Haruka is a one-woman fan club. With all that out of the way, everyone starts running toward the water. Hamura leaps into the water, closely followed by Sis and Hikage. <laughs> I end up sitting down on the beach, watching everyone else splash around. But try as I might, I can't be as happy as they are right now. They're all out there, laughing and playing, but I can't stop thinking about 
almost going feral. I'm not scared of fighting the enemy, but I'm more afraid of fighting my friends than I am of dying. I was bullied all the time as a kid, but in the elite class, I have friends for the first time in my life. So what do I do? How do I avoid fighting them? Really, the answer's simple. I shouldn't be at Hebijo. If I quit being an evil shinobi, I won't have to be with them in battle. They're calling to me, waving their hands. For today, at least, I want to forget my troubles and just have fun like any other girl. But I'm not sure I can. The summer sunlight singes my skin. I turn my back on the beach and run like my life depends on it. Mirai, doko ikun ya? Chotto namimono katte kuru ne. Nanka uka hen kao shitoru ya. Donai shita? Gome. Hitori ni shite kurenai. Nande ya? Sekkaku umi ni kita chiu no ni. わかった。未来泳げへんのやろ。図星か。ほな、わしが特訓してやろうか。特訓言うても単純に泳ぎ方教えるわけやないで。デク人形と戦って。筋肉の使い方を体で覚えるんや。ちなみにデク人形はホムラさんが宅配便でここまで送ったんや。あいつの修行熱心さはどう超えとるわ。今はそういう気分じゃないの。まあそう言いなさんな。ほな行くで。Something different. Oh. I was expecting the swimsuit. I was expecting the swimsuit. I was really expecting the swimsuit. Lucky item, yay? Lucky item, yay? Anything else? I don't see any, so here we go. where she holds it.
いい動きや次は今の動きを水泳に応用して構わないでうん私に構わないでどないしたんや未来なんかおかしいでもう私とこれ以上仲良くしないいまさらそれは無理ちゃうかわしらは選抜チームなんやからなあなんかあったんならいいやわしでよかったら話を聞くでだから私に構わないでって言っていいでしょミライミライゴー Leave it here, so thank you all very much for watching, and ciao for now. Ciao for now.